This is this video shows a yet another way to create the orange peel pattern. So I am going design sew quilt, start new, pantograph, enter rectangle manually. And it's 10 by 10, 10, 10, which is what I want, so I'm just going to touch continue, finished. And I'm going to um, my catalogue I call building blocks that has all the shapes in that are in geometric catalogue. And I'm looking for this half circle too. I want that. Continue. That. Continue. Now it's way too big. I'm going to reduce the row height to two inches. And now I'm going to flip Y here, the, the even numbered rows, flip Y. Okay, finished. Doesn't look like orange peel yet. Finished. Accept. I don't care what the transition is. Add edit pattern. Add pattern. Pantograph pattern. Use current block. Again, I'm going to choose the... Um, the arc, arc two, and I've gone too far. There it is. Half circle two, I should say, not arc two. Again, reduce it to two inches. And I'm going to flip Y here. So now I've got a series of circles. Now you could stitch that out, but it doesn't look like orange peel yet, so I'm going to touch finished. Accept. Yes. Now at this point I'm going to add another block. So add edit block, add block, standard block, enter rectangle manually. The width is going to be 10 inches. The height is going to be 11 inches. And I'm going to move it up so that the extra inch is at the top. Okay, finished. Finished. Add edit pattern. Add pattern, pantograph pattern, use current block, it's the big one, that the 10 by 11 that's red, so use current block. Again, go into my building blocks or your um, geometric, and I'm going to get half circle to offset. Again, reduce the row height to 2 inches. And can you see now how I'm beginning to get um, the the uh, orange peel effect here. Again, I'm going to go flip Y. All right. Finished. Accept. Yes. Add edit pattern. Add pattern. Pantograph. Use current block. Again, half circle to offset. Pattern height, two inches. This time I'm going to flip Y here, and there now you can see the orange peel. Now, this pattern is interesting because you're not going to be, when it stitches, it's not going to bounce in and out of points. You can see from the red how it will cross over and it'll go up and down and up and down. So you won't get any bouncing in and out, the, the lines will cross over nicely and it should match up better. But I've got this extra bit at the top here, these half circles, I don't need those. So I'm going to hit finished, accept, yes, add edit block, add block, clipping block, please select the patterns to be affected, well I'm just going to select all, continue. How do you want to define the block? I'm going to select an existing block, please select the clipping block, it's the smaller one, the 10 by 10, continue, and there's my orange peel design in a 10 by 10 block. And again, like I said, it's going to stitch up and down like this. So you get, when you set it up to stitch, you have to remember that um, if, you, if you stitch this out at a big size, you have to remember how big it's going to be. It's not going to bounce like this. It's going to go up and down and up and down. So that's another way to do the orange peel design.